from his part as EBITDA margin improved on account of gross margin expansion in the second quarter. However, the revenue continues to be a little soft. The bottom line too was hit by a 40 crore expense, a one-time expense for voluntary retirement. We have with us Gunjan Shah, who's the MD and CEO of the company, joining in to discuss their earnings. Gunjan, wish you, your team, very happy festivities. But talking about the festivities itself, you know, the first half of this year, the revenues have been absolutely flat. The second quarter, of course, we had the Adik Mas uh, and Savan, uh, you know, factor coming in as well. So the revenues were down by 1.2 odd percent. Just wanted your thoughts on how the festive quarter is panning out. The second half of this year, what is that likely to be in terms of revenue growth? And as a result of which, your annual revenues this year? Okay. Uh, hi, Mangalam and hi, CNBC and the viewers. Uh, wish you very happy festive season and happy Diwali in advance. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's been a tough last couple of quarters, especially on the discretionary demand. And we have seen that. I think despite that, what uh, I think the team has delivered is an excellent uh, and I think it's a reasonably good operating performance. I think both in terms of competitive same store growth as well as uh, I think a significant focus on uh, on margins, therefore profitability as well as productivity. And uh, I think there has been a reasonable amount of diligence that has been applied in terms of making sure that the cost lines are well managed and hopefully that will stand us in good stead. Uh, on forward-looking, uh, I, I, we don't give forward-looking outlook, but uh, we do foresee that some of the stuff that got postponed from the previous quarter into the next quarter will, uh, you know, fructify, and we are looking forward to that impact as the season pans out. Uh, we are hopeful of the kind of scenes, uh, the, the kind of signs that we are seeing uh, in the early days of this quarter. Okay. Hi, Gujan. Uh, good morning and thanks so much for speaking to us here on CNBC TV 18. This is Nigel on this side. You know, uh, I, Mangalam tracks your share more closely, but I think I'm the bigger customer of yours. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I just wanted to make that point. Uh, now, tell us, you know, you're telling us that uh, various efforts have been made, but we want to get a couple of numbers. For the year, what kind of growth can it look like? Will there be any growth? Will it be in mid-single digits? Will it be in double digits? And what is the margin trajectory as well? Try to give us some numbers. Yeah, yeah. So as I mentioned, we don't give forward-looking forecast to Nigel. And, uh, yeah. But however, uh, our, our desire is to ensure that we get consistent, profitable, double-digit growth. And that is okay. what we are investing towards. Uh, there are many levers that we are trying to work upon, while I think the macros will iron themselves out over a period of time. And I think uh, expansion, store expansion is one big piece, while we are doing it very prudently. And uh, as you would have seen, even in the last almost now couple of years, we will go with that same strategy, which is we should be adding about 40 to 50 stores every quarter. Uh, even last quarter was about 30 stores, slightly lower, but we should be averaging about 40 to 50 and it will be an 80-20 ratio. Uh, capital efficient model of the franchise model keeps gaining traction. We will be ahead of what my medium term target was of by FY20, uh, FY25 hitting 500 stores, we should be closing it one year in advance. Uh, so about 80% on franchise as well as about 20% on the uh, company owned model. So we will expand both, but in a prudent manner. So that's so one. Should... The second big yeah. piece that uh, will be also something that we have, and even in the you know, right from September onwards, is basically upping the entire investments that we are doing behind creating the style quotient uh, uh, in our stores. So whether it be in terms of products and product evolution, whether it be the marketing campaign that we have launched of you know every walk is a ramp walk. I think very good early signs. We are seeing impact of it in the ladies' style portfolio, and hopefully that should stand us in good stead. Gunja, and since you briefly mentioned 2025 with regard to your store edition, uh, earlier when you chatted, uh, you had said that, you know, 5,000 crores doesn't look out of reach. Is it now out of reach by 2025? So, it's a little difficult to forecast a longer time period kind of a uh, forecast on this, Nigel, but uh, I would still say it's not out of reach, right? So, we are still hopeful that we can, you know, these temporary periods that we have seen of a muted discretionary demand should iron itself out. As India keeps expanding, the economy keeps expanding, I don't see a reason why, uh, as long as our levers are rightly in place. 
All right. So those are the levers that you're talking about. Uh, aspiration of double digit growth, profitable. And you have spoken about 150 to 170 stores, which will be added, 80% of which will be franchise as well. But what's interesting is that, that over the last uh, couple of quarters, there have been inter interesting pivots that Bata has made as well. The first one, of course, is that this licensing manufacturing agreement that you've done with Nine West. Um, what does this do for your incremental revenue? And does this pave the way for future global brand partnerships as well? No, absolutely. I think uh, we've been long-standing partners with multiple brands in the past, right? Uh, Hush Puppies, Shoal, as well as Naturalizer. And uh, Nine West is an addition in that portfolio itself. It clearly works on two large gaps that we are working on, which is basically upping the style portion, bringing in much global trends as well as styles into consumers for India. And uh, Nine West is a step in that direction. And you will hear more of it as we fructify and roll this out over a period of the next couple of quarters, etc. So, uh, it opens the door for other brands. And I ask this because uh, one of our colleagues, Vivek, had earlier pointed out about a possible tie-up with something like an Adidas as well. Just wanted your thoughts on that. And uh, Athleisure too, speaking about mm -hmm. Adidas and Athleisure, Power has come out with the Athleisure range. So, what's your revenue forecast for this foray? And uh, a comment on tie-ups with other brands. Right. So, there are multiple questions, Mangalam, that you're making, but uh, let me try and address them one by one. Uh, we continue to explore uh, wherever we see a value fit uh, uh, between partners and therefore, we will continue to explore. And as I said, Ninevest is one step in that direction. And those efforts continue as long as they make a, you know, a value addition both ways. Uh, uh, the second piece that you mentioned was on power and power apparel. I think power will be a big driver going forward. We will want to bring it up and center along with obviously Bata as, uh, you know, as a banner. And uh, you will see a lot of action. We did, as I mentioned last time when we interacted, we did launch about six months back the apparel, uh, four or five months back. And uh, it's given good response. Uh, we are seeing almost about two, two and a half percent contributions to store sales coming through. It's been at a pilot level. We would ideally, I would like to see this hit about four to five percent, and that piece is work in progress. We are learning this entire category. It's a very large category. I believe a lot of consumers who walk into our stores are something that do desire and do consume it, and there is no reason why we cannot, uh, you know, how do you say, satiate that demand of theirs. So, mm -hmm. learning the right merchandise, the right colors, the right styles, etc., is what we are working on in the pilot. And right. uh, hopefully, we get that right. We should be expanding it even more aggressively going forward. Okay. All right, Gunjan. Thanks so much for joining in. It appears as of now, you know, that 5,000 crores odd mark, as you said, is not out of whack. You know, maybe you're on track out there. But for the time being, it appears you're jogging rather than running. The markets will be hoping you start sprinting towards that mark. Well, that was the management of Bata, but for the time being, we'll take a short break. You come back, we'll get chatting with the management of Mars Gone Talk.